What's up, everyone? It's me, Adam Prime, and it is time for another Toku Brew this week in Toku. And with me, as always, is the always lovely, always beautiful, always dashing, never actually gonna plan to murder my enemies. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. You are? I'm Stormy. Will definitely murder my enemies. <laughs> You're gonna murder my enemies? Just in case. That was a joke, but... <laughs> You'll ma it will be make sense in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... More Dawn Brothers this week. But before we get started, we got the full versions of the Dawn Brothers theme song, which I think is Mon Psyche 1. I can't quite pronounce it. Oh, Okoso only one. Um, and we also brought, got the ending theme of Don't Boo Dawn Brothers. Oh, and we also got that one Revice song. Uh, what was it? No, there's... Wh which ones? The there's a couple. There's one. there's Volcano. Uh, there's Go With The Flow. Go With The Flow. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, th those are good. We've been putting out a lot, more, a lot more music on Spotify, and it's some good shit. That stuff slaps. If you got Spotify... I think it's also on don't... Apple. I, it's funny that I feel like the music... Don't listen to it, dude. Um, they, they slap. Yeah. You, by the way, you want to know the funniest part, though, is the more I'm thinking about it, is every Sentai theme and most Rider themes are available on some form of U.S. streaming service. Like Very Spotify. Cool. Spo cool. Spotify. But none of the shows are. The theme song in the music is more available than the shows themselves legally. Oh, can you put the meme of the... Stop downloading our stuff illegally. Can I have a legal way to purchase it from you? And it's just angry. <laughs> um, if I... Yeah, I'll have to look for it, but I can put that here for a second. Heck yeah. And here it is. And it it's is gone. gone. <laughs> um, very few screenshots. By the way, yes, both the theme songs are really good. Oh, so which good. one do you which one do you prefer? The ending theme or the opening theme? Uh I'm having a hard time remembering the ending theme weirdly right now. Uh the ending theme is like is I <sighs> I don't know, man. The opening theme is just so good. I and like... That gets me pumped. I feel like I could go and fight a bear after I listen to that. Like, it's... Yeah. I, I like the ending theme a little bit more. I like the I like the little more catchier little tune with the... Like, with the... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I like that part. I like that. But... I'm gonna have to listen to it again just to re-remind myself. Just because, like, the opening thing just dominates your head so much once you listen to it. I forget yeah. every other piece of music. Both of them are really it. good. Both are really good. I can't deny that, though. It's like... Definitely. They're really close. Um, good stuff, man. Good stuff. It, Not to mention, they've had some really cool freaking toys come out. Like, they are holding nothing back. Oh, should I put a... Okay, wait. Here's a quick picture. Real quick. One screenshot. We will... Because might as well talk about it. We now know what Don Onitajin looks like, which is their big mecha. Show that picture of his box. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my boy. And it's gone. Oh, my God. He's a beautiful boy. Um, and he... Oh my god, his joints move. He has elbows and he has knees. And he has abs. All the individual mechs look good. The mech itself looks good and it has articulation. It must be our birthday. I, I'm. It's really expensive though. Oh my god. It's a big boy though. <laughs> he's a big boy. Oh my, he's like, what, like six inches taller than he's the other guy? He's 2,000 yen taller than, <laughs> than Jura Gawan. Um, sorry. Sorry for that pause. Uh, our dogs. dogs are being weird. But, um... <laughs> They're always weird. But, yeah, no. So, for whatever reason, there was somebody doing a scale, and I think it was Bandai themselves that was like, Oh, the, um, any ride on, um, the Z Don Zenkaio set is this much money. And Don Onitajin is this much money. And it was like them, but like it looks like it was supposed to be a height scale. So it's like, what are you telling me this one's 2,000 yen taller? Oh, you never explained that to me. That makes more sense now. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. I thought it was like a joke of just how much more expensive it was. No. But, but it's like a, a... It's big. It's, it's like a foot tall. It's... <laughs> Over a foot tall. Dang. It's like 36 centimeters. Oh, so... It looks so good, though. Oh, that paint job looks so good, too. And some of the freaking art on the box... That's why I only... That's why I showed the box. To be fair, like... 
all of the box art has looked really good so far. But I love the box art so far. Just, oh, so good. So um, good. but yeah, they, they have no mercy for yeah, their wallets. They're going um, right for them. Oh yeah. So by the way, the Robo Taros are happening soon, and it looks, they look so good. Like like we were saying, like big monkey arms. <laughs> well, yeah, those big lovable monkey arms. Um, big ol' hug. But yeah, other than that, um, outside of there's like been casting news for for Decker, but there's really not much to talk about there. The toys have been released. Yeah. Though. For at least three um, orders, I think, right? Um, for the Decker stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but. Let's get into episode eight. And I can say this, I think, kind of safely. You pointed out something I hadn't even really thought about, which is kind of funny. Episode, in episode eight or what? Just or... in between episodes that usually there's another ranger by now. Usually they've added... Last couple of years, it's felt like. Yeah, yeah. We had Zox and Stay Caesar... At this point. At this point. By episode 8, like, both Two Kaiser and Stay Caesar Again, I appreciate were in the show. Their time. They're I still not it. even a team. They're not even a team yet, I still. I really love it. I like I it. it. I don't mind it. It's uh, just kind of, like, once you pointed that out, I'm like, oh, yeah. There usually is another ranger. And I was like, do you think they'll even do one? And you're like, oh, they already, they already cast. We already know. We already know. I'm like, oh, we okay. haven't gotten a cast, but we got, like, toy ons. They haven't led that toy on, though. Ons. They haven't led it on. Yeah. So. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Um, That'll be interesting. It's very interesting. Like, they haven't even hinted that that's even a thing, so... Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, wonder how they're gonna how they're gonna play in, you know? Because it's gonna be much like the older days when they came in much later. Like, I would say Cure Uger was the show to really initialize how fast, because I think, um... Um... Uh, Cure You Gold, um showed up in like episode 11 or 12 and usually it's one of those things that the extra rangers often peer more midway through the show like in like the more like maybe not even midway but like the 17 to like 20s very much the, the, like we're not strong enough we need the, everything's getting harder we need another person on the team well yeah right? but then it's like after that we kind of just kept getting them fairly quickly and they were showing up like i said in like Near like the first fifteen episodes. Gotta sell those toys. Gotta sell them toys. Matter of fact, um, I think even something like Q Ranger got like double doses because they at the end had 13, 13 Rangers, with no twelve. They only had twelve. Um, it's just kind of funny that that they didn't. They added so many more even after the initial announcement of nine. They were like, eh, let's squeeze three more in there. <laughs> Um, I feel like you're a bit off topic. Um, anyway, this gets to the episode a good episode. Good. Stuff, I like good this stuff. was an interesting episode. This, especially near the ending, I got shook. So. Um, but yeah, no, another That's Kaji, awesome. Kaji brother and Inuye brother focused episode. I'm always down. Yeah, and it was like actually focused on both of them, and they were they were in a storyline together. They didn't find out they were. Like, they didn't find out that they were each a Dawn brother, though, so they oh, were... Oh, uh, uh, Taro and... What was his name? Blue guy. Oh. Blue guy. Saru brother? Saru brother. Yeah, they were helping people in the fire. Oh, no, not not Saru brother. Oh, um, like, Gridman-looking guy? Gridman villain. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I'm angry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him it's and Gridman villain. Color. Yeah, they kept, like, running into each yeah, other. Yeah, like they kept just running into each other, and it was. They don't know that they're yeah good and bad guys in suit. They're just like, ha, you're a stand up fellow. I yeah, think I like you exactly. And he a lot was... of similar beliefs or yeah. whatever. And Don and Don Momotaro was just like, hey, was just yeah, I don't hit people though. He's just like, oh, because all of a sudden, like he was about to get mugged. Like people were trying to steal his van. And then tried to steal his money. Yeah, steal the money that he got from deliveries today. And, like, he just had none of it. By the way, can I just say, like, I feel like it's... Even though it's like, I get it. It's complete and utter horseshit. Where it's like, oh, I don't hit people. 
I'm gonna assume he means out of suit because again the whole thing with like the flicking the the peanuts the peanut and then this one imagine that guy if he was allergic to peanuts and just went straight down his throat <laughs> no <laughs> uh, yeah so it's like it's like oh I don't hit people oh yeah I totally believe that while you're like freaking popping his shoulder out of socket sure Tara sure I don't hit people I'll just break their limbs <laughs> I will just end them I'll murder them <laughs> but uh. Then, hit them i it sounds like such a childish thing like, it I sounds didn't no hit him i just tripped him and he face planted into the concrete. god that's like the worst domestic abuse charge avoidance that's like it, i didn't do it she fell down the stairs doesn't matter that i pushed her by the way i'm okay i'm not he didn't push me downstairs it is a joke <laughs> gotta be careful <laughs> if anyone would actually do that on a podcast like this who stupid, are you? Dude, there's some stupid people on the internet. I've, I've seen some things. Are they theoreticians? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not skids. The freaking, freaking forgotten child. Anyway, back to the episode. Yeah, I know. But, like, so, yeah, he gets, he, like... They fight him off, yeah. But like the weird thing is, like him getting mugged and that um both of them helping each other out were two different occurrences around the same time of day. Like Taro was just walking past this flaming apartment business. I think it was some sort of business because I think the lady was in like some sort of like break room. Or... Was the one dude in the bathroom? Maybe I don't know. I thought that they were in like a like janitor closet or something at first the girl mm -hmm. that they saved but it's like i noticed there was like a teapot or something and i know that in it's Japan a break they room. have like little break really small break rooms where you can just like make some tea and leave so i'm assuming that's yeah that's what that is but uh let's get to the more interesting part of the episode let's face it with in kaji brother and saru brother you mean inuit brother inuit brother i don't know the name black and pink <laughs> yes um uh, you know the you know, the them like man. him seeing um oh yeah like by the way um Cricket. Cricket. The, yeah by the, the k-pop stands will swarm <laughs> i don't even know what k-pop is it's i know it's music. korean pop music but i've never listened to any that i'm aware of anyway uh i like it it's good i prefer j-pop it's, it's not my particular thing but i i feel like it's perfectly fine all right not my thing but i can see why it has fans it's good stuff Okay, but um, before we get to it, um, we were kind of wrong assuming- I also think the boys are very pretty. That's why a lot of girls, like, scream for them. Alright. I can't blame them, they're right, but- <laughs> Alright then. Anyway, so, black yeah. and pink. But yeah, Which no. funny enough, a female a pop man. group, so, <laughs> K-pop group. Huh. Yeah, black pink. Okay. At least I think so. I'm, as you can tell, I'm, I don't know the things- Okay, moving on from that, <laughs> can we, okay. Sorry for the tangent. Um, so, Kaj, so, Kaji Brothers' wife looks exactly, exactly like Inuye Brothers' fiancé? Yeah, I think I may have pointed that out at some point, I'm well, not no sure. I was like, oh, they look kind of similar, but... <laughs> In this one, they fall on where, like, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, don't they look similar? Oh, he's not gonna look at the picture of her. Huh? Yeah, like, they, they like, like, they purposely avoided them ever seeing what... I was like, are they the what... same person? Are they the same person? Yeah. <laughs> and... How are they gonna pull that one and off? And the funny thing is, we were wrong, because I think we had mentioned think, in the episode where... I think we... it might have been me. Um, like, yeah. Well, maybe he's just... it's. It's, oh, his, it's sister. his sister. Maybe it's familial it's the... love. No, nah, he straight up fucking proposed to her. Yeah. I hope they're not brother and sister. That'd be also, very awkward. You want to know something that was eerie though? Him and Kaji brothers like montage of how they met these girls and fell in love with each other and, and amoused to, to them. them felt eerily what? Did similar. Proposed? Is that proposed? What you yeah, everything was like almost exactly. It was the same. eerily like, simple. They even went to like the, on the same date and both ordered ramen. Like, well, I think it was two different ramen shops, but like, like I don't know, maybe they were. The, either way, I guess it was, it was like, eerily, eerily similar. similar. James, um, do we want to get to the eeriest part of this episode? All right, guys, like this is actually like some really cool plot thickening things. If you haven't seen, I imagine you have seen the episode if you're listening to this. If anyone out there is listening to this. But, uh, this would definitely be the point. Go watch the episode first. Because this threw us for a Dude, loop. stop messing with the microphone. I'm not messing with it. Um, but... 
So, Kaji brother like almost went full American Psycho. Uh yeah, like I got full on freaking uh, goosebumps. Um, first of all, like let's start with the monster. Um, the monster kidnapped his wife, which justifiably he was mad about. Yeah. And here's the thing that was kind of funny when it came to his wife getting kidnapped by like it was a Kira Major monster and it was for an artist. Haha, <laughs> you get the reference. Drawing. I really like Kira Major. We need to finish. Can I major. major love in the comments? Please. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, Kira Major, the Kira Major monster. So it kidnaps him, and all of a sudden she's like, "Hey, would you let me cut your hair?" And we were immediately You're like, "Obviously, you're gonna be a very famous artist. We need to look presentable." And he's like, "And also, don't you want to draw me doing my my thing?" I yeah, a during... position, and he's like, "I guess." And then he has like a big mirror in front of them. He's like, "Don't try anything." And immediately we had the same thought. Yeah, that she's just gonna shank him in the neck. Yeah, like she's like, "I'm gonna get away." Just stabs him in the neck. Just as he and like, could you imagine if he just would have died? Where it's like she would have murdered, or if the monster just took over. Yeah, exactly. But like, oh my gosh, we—it was so funny. We almost at the same time were just like shank him, like, <laughs> yeah, like shiv him shank, in the shank, 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 shank. shank. But funny enough, she technically did do it to get away. But she cut off his, like enough of his hair and, and then tied his hands with it. Freaking! By the way, bravo, smart. I did not see that one. Coming. I didn't see it coming, but I was kind of glad. Where it's like, oh my god, she actually did it, and she gets away, and she. F she runs in the Kaji brother because he went looking for her. Missing black, of course, because like they had, like met up yeah. because of the white evil lady that's obsessed with love. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's get to the interesting stuff. Like um, it was, it was fine. I'm not saying it was bad, but <laughs> but yeah, no. Also, Inuye brother was getting invited to dinner at Kaji brothers' He's just like, apartment. Ugh, I didn't deserve it in the first place anyway. Uh, or yeah, he edge boyed away. He edge boyed away into the night, but uh, and then um, he missed her. Um. But yeah, no, then Kaji brother gets pissed. They did the same slowdown they usually do when it's like Taros and like, oh, they're forming a bond, I'm realizing. Uh-huh. So it's like, I imagine it's like, again, they're like planting seeds of, hey, this is important. Remember it for later. I'm like, I get um, it. <laughs> so, yeah, so they start fighting the monster. Okay, I guess to start with, we'll start, let's go through the fight real quick. So the fight is pretty much like Kaji brother's just mad. He's just like, I'm going to make you pay for hurting my wife. You're going, you're going down, Kira Major freaking... Monster. And we're going down like it's freaking punky town. Yeah. And so everyone obviously shows up, but then suddenly a grid man shows up. Blue man. Blue man group. Um, Blue, not monkey man. Um, and he starts showing up, but him and Taro immediately start fighting. Mm -hmm. Him and Taro. And Taro is like form changing out the wazoo, just like changing form after form. And, and very he, useful ways, too. And then he freaking breaks it down like a DJ with the gun. Yeah. Which I'm just like, I'm shocked they didn't show that earlier, but okay. But yeah, no, so yeah, he defeats the blue dude, or like they- No, actually, like, like he was about to defeat the monster. Oh, well, no, I'm not talking about that, where it's like, because it was leading to him, he was fighting the blue dude, they got away, and he was just like, eh, I'm just gonna end it. And like, he's about to end it on the monster, and that's when you're talking about- DJ Taro in the house. Yeah, yeah, he drops some fat beats on the, on the Dom Blaster, and Kaji brother knocks him to miss the shot. Yeah. To the monster. And then, of course, guess who swoops in? Mr. Gridman himself. And the, everyone is like, oh, God. You know, when that yeah. happens, the people, the people like, freaking die or something. Yeah, the monster. still don't know. By the way, she still hasn't mentioned her aunt, and I'm wondering why. She's like, hmm, she's been gone for a while. <laughs> I don't think her aunt got kidnapped, though. Well, no, remember? Like, like she got, like... Oh, yeah, she got robbed. By the guy, and then... The guy got de it was the the lights guy and then he got defeated by the blue guy which is how by the white girl or the white girl which other one and like that's how we learned oh when they defeat them the people die <laughs> or something I disappear, think whatever um it is. but either way he died um and they're like dude what the yeah fuck? Don 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 Montaro was like why did you do that like immediately after he got knocked out of the way and then he died and then. And then we cut to this almost American Psycho scene. He's having, like, dinner with, with his wife. Yeah, like, everyone leaves, whatever. And, like, yeah, he's having dinner with his wife. And he's just like, no one's gonna freaking mess with her. Like, he's not, no regret. What's yeah, like, he had this, like, creepy smile. I'm and gonna put a screenshot just so you could see it, like, right here. Dude, like, it's gone. this specific moment, like, where 
this actor did such a good fucking job where it's like you like see the light leave his eyes and you're like you see the freaking crazy of just like no one's gonna hurt her and i'm just like what the hell are they going to do i was like and then the freaking preview for the next episode i'm like excuse me you cannot just leave me like that what the explain yourself don brothers yeah exactly and that was so throwing threw me eerie. off to end it with it was eerie. yeah it's like he's supposed to be the best boy but now he might be evil do you think this has something to do with like the points or something i, I have I don't no think idea that's what that was i don't think it was either i think it was pure malice that, i he may be crazy i mean he was always like cute and adorable and i love him and i'm just like should i be scared of you like <laughs> yeah i guess we're gonna have to see i'm very interested god the show just keeps getting better. The show is so good. The music is I'm, good. The uh, are good. The story uh, is good so far. And I just want I'm to very in, I'm very intrigued. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I can't wait for them to be a team. But next week seems like we're going to be getting stuff. Kaito's finally going to be revealed to be yeah. Zen Kaiser Black. Yeah, Not like she's just like, wow, my, the boss and Momotaro's uh, look sick. Ah, Marotaro's like, like sick and like. Marotaro. Momotaro's Mara sick. Taro. Yeah, he's like, and I saw one shot in the preview where it's like instead of like them like holding him, yeah, he's on a stretcher. He's on like a bed or so, like a futon. He's or on a stretcher. And, and like even the people are just kind of like like sick and nonchalant. Yeah, like one like lady's jealous. on her phone instead of doing like the veils. Oh really? Was she? Yeah, it just looked that? like she was on her phone. Um, That's wonderful. But yeah, no. Overall, a good episode. That was a really good episode. Again, Got a lot to talk about, though. I was though. not expecting that. Oh wait! Of him Before we go, creepy. though, dinosaur centaur. Oh yeah, <laughs> you you threw me off. I was like, what the hell are you? Yeah. Doing? Um. So I we got to see Don Momotaro. No, Don Riusol Momotaro. When he was in his little peach form. Yeah. He mixed with. Uh, I will throw Jeremy up a picture Joe. right now. With Terramigo. Yeah, a little Terramigo. Ter he gets a little Terramigo and he becomes boy. a dinosaur the centaur. The best boy from the show. And yeah, it was funny. Like right when it happened, I was like, oh, I cast centaur tar. Exactly. This is, and he's a little T-Rex centaur. Dinosaur yeah. Dinosaur centaur. It's it was funny. amazing. It's like he and gets I, a sword. And I also noticed a little detail. Whatever, you know, because obviously when he goes into his little peach form, like his freaking body flops over. Mm -hmm. But I noticed, like, when it goes back, it actually leaves a little peach leaf. Yeah, like... you know it... there's, like, the leaf that comes on that splits into his feet, like, yeah. during the transition. I noticed, like, when it goes back, oh, the leaf, like, blows in the wind afterwards, if you look for it. Oh, that's... This is a cute little it's detail. It's a neat, de neat detail. I like it. So, yeah. I think that's it for this week. So, we're gonna end on Dinosaur Centaur. A little bit... A little bit short, but really good stuff. Really good 24 stuff. 24 minutes is short? Nah, I us like we've gone for like what 40 minutes before about this show then again sure. i guess we don't really have to discuss the characters or anything right now depth right anymore. now well yeah it's like we it's like we get we're getting to know getting how these work brother. except for kaji brother but like american psycho like how you said yeah it's like i'm like Oof. This will i'm be scared interesting. i am excited i'm I scared wait. i'm scared Ooh. Um, ooh, I like this. But all right. This is going to be a good one. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, oh, I'm excited. All right. So many good things. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So, thank until you, next time. Thank you so much for listening to us babble. And uh, leave thoughts and comments in the bottom below in the comment section. All right. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.